Welcome to Sarsas with Dad John Brisco. Teacher Rose, Teacher Esreen, Teacher Joanne, and Teacher Joyce welcomes you to your online lessons. Hello, KG1 students. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. I want to welcome back everyone to our second semester online classes. And it's me, Teacher Joe Ann, and I will be your language teacher for today. For our topic, we are going to review letters A to letter H. Are you ready? Let's begin. But before that, let's do an action song. Can everybody stand up, please, and dance and sing with me? Are you standing up? Great. Let's do this. A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, F, G. D, E, F, G. H, I, J. H, I, J. K, L, M, N, O, P. K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S. Q, R, S. letters from A to P. Are you ready? What letter is this one? Can every repeat after me and say the letter? I always say letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M N O P. Excellent reading. Now, let me review the first letter. Can you tell me what letter is this? Yes, you are correct. A says A. Ah. A is for ant. Well done. Can you tell me what letter is it? You are right. It's the letter B. B says B. B is for bear. Now let's read this picture together. B is for bear. Good job. The next letter is letter C. Letter C says K. Say it again one more time. C says K. And C is for clouds. Well done. For the next letter, we have the letter D. Can you repeat after me? Letter D. Letter D says D. D is for donut. Repeat after me. D is for donut. Well done. The next letter is letter E. E says E. E is for elephant. Is an elephant a big or a small animal? It's a big animal. You are right. 
Let's go to the next letter. This is the letter F. Can you say F says F. Say it again one more time. F says F. And F is for frog. Okay, this one is the letter G. Letter G says G. Everybody say it again one more time. G says G. And G is for gift. For the last letter, we have the letter H. Can you say letter H? Great. H says H is for hug. Can you hug your mom and dad? Or can you hug yourself? Okay, H is for hug. Hug. Good job. So that's the last letter we're going to review. But before we move on to our next activity, let's recap all the letters that we have reviewed today. Are you ready? Now let's do our picture reading again. A is for ant. B is for bear. C is for clouds. D is for donut. Yum. E is for elephant. F is for frog. G is for gift. The last one is H is for hog. Well done. Okay, for today's homework, we are going to use our first friend's book. But since you don't have it at home yet, we prepare pictures of our work in our workbook as a homework. So you have to edit the picture and send the picture to us. Okay, here we go. So this one is A is for ant and B is for bear. So we are going to trace these letter. Falling line, falling line, sleeping line. Then we have curved line, standing line. Can you do that? That's the letter A. For letter B, you have standing line, curved line, curved line, standing line, curved line. Then we are going to follow or trace the lines. Ta-da! Well done. Then you also have to match and trace the letter B. Good job. And this one is on page 9. Okay, this one is the letter C and the letter D. It is on page 15. So we're going to trace the letter C curve line. Curve line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but at least it's going to help you practice tracing and writing. For the letter D, standing line, curve line. Curve line for the small letter D and standing line. Well done. Now, we have the small letter C over here, so we have to find the big letter C and circle it. So, all you have to do is trace the circle. So, this is the big letter C. Next one is the letter D. Circle the big letter D. Next is page 21. As you can see, all you have to do is practice tracing. So, this one is the letter E. So let's trace that again. Standing line, sleeping line, sleeping line, sleeping line. And for the small letter E, sleeping line, curve line. Good job. For letter F, standing line, sleeping line, and sleeping line. Small letter F. Her line, standing line, and sleeping line. So for this one, you have to circle the odd one out. So the odd one out is the small letter D. And the second row, which is not a small letter. Yes, you're right. It's the letter E. The letter E is an uppercase. So we have to circle it. And in the last row, or the odd one out is the small letter F. So now we're going to circle the small letter F because it's the odd one out. For the last page of our review is on page 27, which is the letter G. So again, we're going to trace the letter. 
For big letter G, you have curb line and sleeping line. Smaller letter G, curb line, standing line, curb line. Excellent. For G is for gift and an H is for hog. So standing line, standing line, sleeping line. So we have our big letter H. For the small letter H, you have, you have to do standing line and curb line. Well done. You did a great job. So for this one, at the bottom, you have the letters. So we have to match or circle the letter that's corresponding to your right, to your left letters, okay? So the first one is letter F. Yes, this one, with a circle. So all you have to do is trace it. The next letter is the letter G. Can you tell me where's the small letter G? Yes, that's at the end of the row. So you have to circle the small letter G. The last one is the letter H. You have to circle the letter H. Okay, did you finish tracing all of it? All the four pages? Make a screenshot. So that's the end of our lesson. I will see you again in our next lesson. Bye.